The 127th running of the Boston Marathon is now in the books. Here's how it played out. Evans Chabet is a back-to-back -back champion, finishing in 205-54. He's the first back-to-back -back winner since 2008. Rounding out the podium were Gabriel Gay and 2021 winner Benson Capruto, who's also Chabet's training partner. Equa. As you may have observed, for me, uh, it was my desire to defend my title. But looking at it as teamwork, uh, it was our hope that uh, either one of us in the team would win and it doesn't matter. But as for me, I was uh, doing my best uh, to defend my title. We worked well uh, as a team and uh, we helped each other to, and, uh, to fight until the end. The big story before the race, Elliot Kipchoge. It was his race through 19 miles, but he was dropped by the lead pack at mile 20. He finished sixth in 209.23, three minutes behind Chibet. Scott Fobel was once again the top American, finishing seventh in 209.44. I have to make good decisions for me on the race day, and today that was being in the second pack and really trying to hunt that last half marathon and having faith that uh, I was gonna be able to run people down and it took a lot longer than it usually does. Uh, I didn't ca start catching people really until like the last mile. I want to be able to go out in the front pack. I really do. I like, I promise you, like I know that's the only way to win this race. It's the only way to be on the podium. You can't backdoor it. But at the same time, like I know what I can't do. and. Like, going out in 62 minutes is over my head. Helen O'Beary, in just her second marathon, can add Boston champion to her long list of accolades. She finished in 221.38. I tried to be patient and wait for the right time to happen. And I knew I've trained well. Of course, I can say today it was my time. And I'm so happy about it. Amane Barisa finished second in 221.50, and Lona Salpeter was third. American Emma Bates was in the lead pack through the Newton Hills. She would finish fifth in 222.10. I just felt so good the whole time, and I got to mile 20 and was still in the lead, and I just looked at my coach who was at mile 20, and I was just like, I don't, I guess I'm in the front, and so he's like, just go for it, just go for it. So I think um, just kind of instincts took in. That's uh, where I was, and that's it just felt right today. So I just, I went with my gut and that's that's what it told me to do to be you know not only top american but top in you know the boston marathon is something that i'm gonna hold close to my heart for a long time in the men's push room wheelchair race marcel hugh won in a course record 117.06 it's his sixth boston win Susanna scaroni won the women's race in 141.45 she actually had to stop and change a tire halfway through making her first boston win that much more impressive Runner's World has all the coverage you need for the 2023 Boston Marathon. Were you surprised by how the race played out? Did you have your money on Kipchoge? Let us know in the comments.